teams are ready, and so are we. Hi, everyone. With Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment, I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, we have for you a fantastic game of hockey. But before we get started here, the thoughts of Eddie Olchek. Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Switzerland's moving the puck up the wing. He throws it there. Save. Gathered up by Moss. The Czechs have their goal. Great stick save. And so now a penalty will be handed out. The Swiss suffer a tripping call. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Wristed one. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Strong wrist shot. Gobbed away. Yeah, you heard it. It hit him right in the mask. That one is pointed to him. Frank's one. Marvel score! The goalie made the initial stop, but he followed up on a second chance, and he beat him. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. A little under six minutes to go here in the first. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Simon Moser fires. By number four, Taken over by Horak. Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. Switzerland's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Puck now possessed by Diaz. Oh, good job to block that and keep play moving. Glides across. One team is going to be short from this. Let's see what the call is. Diaz gets a slashing minor here. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Ooh, what a hit. <laughs> 20 minutes have now been played. The red light flashed twice, both for the same team. Two to nothing. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? We'll answer all of those questions at our skills competition for tickets. Switzerland's to strength has been in goal scoring, season. and this one gave them a two-goal lead. That's the, the, the one they enjoy right now. We'll have more in a moment. Turned a shot on net. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. Irad's able to close the space where the forward thinks he's got some open area, and then he lays a thunderous hit on him. Right there on the money, the left wing pass. Shot on. Score! He's got his second. Well, the element of surprise with the wrist shot, get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. And so he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. Switzerland's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. As that point pass as well. Moss comes up with it. Can he clear it? 
The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you could win ringside tickets to an upcoming game. The Czech Republic suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Switzerland's going to have to wait to see if this goal counts. As soon as the puck entered the net, the ref waved it off. I'm not really sure why. We'll have to find out. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Good clean win. Let's it go. Feeds the point. Freezes play. Switzerland's aggressive forechecking has been a key to this period. Every time their opponent has the puck, they get a body on them, and as a result, they've scored goals to take. Oh, here's a rifter. Got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Now this shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it. Still gets out to block the shot. Czech Republic's controlling play now and trying to get it going along the boards. Puck covered, whistle blown. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Diaz blocked shots from everywhere on the ice. His total over the last couple of games is climbing higher by the minute. What a remarkable job. Good place to, wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. And he steps across the line. On the outside, a shot. Moves it to the corner. Fires a shot. He covers and holds on. Polak's shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice. Corral. A shot. Good job with the stick. Looks for room. Picked up by the defense. Gains the blue line. And the change is made. The goalie's at the bench. Extra man on in this delayed call. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Team Czech Republic's given a minor here for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Shooting! And that one went out of play over the glass. A souvenir for some young fans. The game is over. Looked like the game was over at the end of two periods. It was not over, and it had a thrilling finish. Pretty simple mindset. Get people and pucks to the net, and they were rewarded. Just not enough. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.